Hi friends, it's Jen and I'm back with another Total Body Express workout. So I hope you are ready to get moving. And of course, we're gonna do a few squats along the way. Today, you are going to need a sturdy chair. If you would like to use soup cans or you happen to have dumbbells at home or anything you wanna hold that might have some weight to it, or maybe today you just wanna go through the workout hands-free. That's a great option too. I'm just so thankful that you are going to be joining with me. I would prefer you to have athletic shoes on if possible and to clear your space so you have room to move and keep your environment safe. So if you are ready, I am ready. Let's get this party started. All right, we are marching. Let's get the body moving, the arms are going. So how is everybody? I know, we're, we're still trucking along. Are you staying sane? Yes, I'm trying to as well. Life is different right now, but life is still good. And I'm so thankful that you're joining me today. I miss seeing your faces, but I've gotten some email and some feedback that you're doing these videos, and that just makes my heart so happy. So I'm just envisioning you all with me. And we've already practiced where I answer my own questions or my own comments to class. So I'll just pretend you're out there in the audience smiling back and laughing with me. Let's take the march out a little bit wider. Arms keep going too, we gotta get warmed up. Perhaps you've been spending a little extra time on the couch these days. Bring the march back in. All right team, I know deep down you have been missing our inner voice. Well, my friends, today is the day. So we are gonna do some intervals like we do in class. So intervals, remember, just means a period of time with a higher intensity. And that can look like whatever you want it to look like. It might mean that you move your knees faster and higher, or your feet go faster, or you pump your arms harder. Or maybe if you're not feeling the intervals today, maybe nothing changes. So you decide what it looks like. But remember, the more body parts you move, the more calories you burn. That sounds good. All right, so we have our first interval coming up on your mark. Get set, let's go. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. You make it what you want. Come on, come on, keep going. 10 down, five to go, you got this. Almost there. And march it easy, good job. Keep those feet going, take a deep breath in, arms go up, and blow it out. Another deep breath in, blow it out. Let's get those arms going again. See, I do think deep down you missed them. Maybe a little bit? All right, well, let's go again for a round two coming up. We're gonna go 15 seconds again for this interval. So take what you did the first round. Was that good? Was that a good intensity? Or maybe you need to go a little higher. Or maybe not quite as high. You're still feeling winded at this point. So you make it right for you. Next interval, coming up. On your mark, get set, let's go. Come on, keep going. You got this. You got this. Breathe. 10 down, five to go. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going. Keep going. And march it easy. See, doesn't that 15 seconds just fly right by? I know it does for me. Keep breathing. Deep breath in. Blow it out. Another deep breath. Blow it out. Arms are going again. What's that? You want to do another interval? Okay, fine. Twist my arm. What? You want it to be a little bit longer this time? Oh, I love your enthusiasm. Okay, team, so we're gonna go 20 seconds this time, a little bit longer. So again, think about the intensity you've done with our first two rounds. Is that perfect for you? Or do we need to go a little higher? Or do we need to go a little lower? This will be our last interval for now. For now. Okay, we got 20 seconds coming up. On your mark, get set, let's go. 20 seconds. I'll tell you halfway, so if you need to moderate your intensity, you can't. Come on, come on. Keep 
Keep going. Baby arms pumping faster. We're halfway. Baby knees getting higher. Baby knees stay low, but you're going faster with the feet. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, relax. Keep the feet going. Deep breath in. Arms go up. Blow it out. Another deep breath. Blow it out. One more deep breath. Blow it out. I bet you're warmed up now. So let's keep the feet going, but we're gonna go ahead and grab our weights if you have any, or your soup cans. What are you working with today? I still got my chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Iron stand at your side, palms face forward, feet are still going. We're gonna curl up toward the shoulders and back down. Up to the shoulders and back down. So while we're working out today, I'm gonna give you options when I can to moderate your intensity, maybe higher, maybe lower but all along the way, you make this workout right for you. This is your workout today. So first example, as I said, to keep marching the feet, but perhaps you wanted to make it a jog, or perhaps you want to make it smaller, maybe it's just a little hip shake, or a little heel lift, or maybe just holding your legs still is a great option too. So you decide. Let's keep the arms going though. Elbows are pointing to the floor. Standing tall, standing straight. All right, so we got five more like this. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more here. We're gonna hold it at the top. Turn the hands to face toward one another. Bring the elbows in front. We're going to take one arm up to the ceiling and then back down. Then the other arm. Elbows stay in front. Feet are still moving. One arm at a time. Unless if your shoulders and arms are feeling good and you want to jump into more intensity, could be both at the same time. But we are still just warming up. So you pick what's right for you today. And maybe next time you do this workout, you try a different option. We got six more straight up. Six, five, four, three, two, one more here. Now we're gonna take both arms straight up. Keep them up. We're gonna hinge at the elbows behind the head, straight back up to the ceiling. Behind the head and straight back up. Keep the head up. Arms are still going. Hopefully by now you're starting to feel your arms wake up just a little bit. But that's what we came for, right? All right, team, we got four more like this. Four. Three. Two. One more. We're going to push them up. Bring them all the way down. Let's put it all together. Curl the weights up. Press up to the ceiling. Behind the head. Back up. Back to the shoulders. All the way down. Oh my goodness. We're working pretty much every muscle in the upper body. And we're still just getting this party started. Feet still going. Stomach muscles are tight. Keep breathing. We gotta keep the air moving in and out the whole time. All right, team. I'm sure your arms are waking up by now. Let's go four more. Slow and control. Three. Chest up tall. Two. You got one more in there. I know you do. Come on. Yes. Push it up. Bring it all the way down. All right, team, let's set those weights down. We're going to go hands-free, which means you can get a quick drink if you'd like. We're going to be behind or beside the chair. We're going to take our outside leg, step out, and come back in. Step out, and come back in. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Yes, but we're not going to stay with just this. All right, so we're going to step out. We're going to bend the knees just a little. Come up, come in. Step out, squat, up, and 
it in. Uh oh, did I say the S word? Yes, we are squatting. I know, it feels so good to be squatting again. So with our squats, if you'd like to have your arms out to remind you to keep your chest up, you can. Or maybe if you want to relax your arms, or maybe if you need a fingertip to the chair to assist with balance. Now we're going to keep going. If we want a little more intensity, that squat starts to get a little deeper. Another option, if we have some goals to work on our side glute or our tush, we step wider. Wider activates more of the tush and the outside of the hips, and a more narrow squat activates more of the thigh muscles. So you decide what you're after today. Now we're gonna keep going. I think it's time we add a little bit of a balance challenge. So maybe when you come back, it's just a tiptoe touch. Or, if we really want to challenge our balance today, maybe we come back to knee lift. If we are trying the balance challenge, I want you to stick the landing and hold it for a second. See if you've actually got your balance. Or maybe your balance isn't quite there today and you come back to your foot being flat on the ground. That's a great option too. Chest stays tall, push the hips way back. All right, we got four more on this side. Three. Two. All right, we're all gonna try a balance challenge and hold it to toe or knee, hold it. Five, four, three, two, hold it. While you've got this leg here, we're gonna do a slow motion kick, tiptoe touch down. Slow motion kick, tiptoe touch. Kick, tiptoe touch. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna add even more balance challenge. So find that focal point, something out ahead of you, you keep your eyes glued to, to help you with balance. Maybe we start to lift the fingertips off the chair. Maybe we start to keep the foot off the floor all together. Maybe we do both of those. Maybe we lift the leg a little higher for a little more intensity. See what works. Stomach muscles tight, concentrate on your focal point. Six. Five. One, four, three, yes, we are going to hold it, two, one more, hold it out there, flex the foot, squeeze the thigh muscles, challenge your balance safely, five, four, three, two, relax, Woo, little shake, shake, all right team, let's get those feet going, arms are moving, it is time, we're going to do one quick interval in here, 20 seconds for this one, just one for now, just to get the blood flowing again. Okay, arms are moving. Remember, you make it what you want. 20 seconds, I'll tell you when we're halfway. On your marks. Get set. Go. 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 Arms are moving, legs are moving, maybe knees are getting higher. Maybe it's still a march, but your knees are getting up. Halfway, 10 seconds down, 10 to go. Come on. Maybe you're doing something extra and special with your arms. Come on, three, two, and march it easy. Good, keep those feet moving. Let's grab our weights. We're gonna come back to the arms, and no, I won't forget your other side, don't worry. All right, go ahead and bring the feet to a stop. We're gonna bring our feet close together, almost touching. Palms are facing toward the legs. We're gonna take the arms out to the shoulders. Shoulder height but a wide V, wide V for the arms. And we have just a slight bend in the elbows. We stay tall, we stay straight. And we're gonna keep going here. We're gonna a little squeeze going on the back side. You know what I mean? Squeezing those cheeks. You can squeeze the up top cheeks too. Squeeze all of them. All right, we're gonna keep going with these arms just the same. As the arms go up, we're gonna float up the heels and then back down. 
tippy toes, and back down. Now remember when we come down, we're trying to go slow and controlled. We don't want to just let the heels drop. We're still going to keep going. Option if we need, we might start taking it one at a time if the shoulders need a little break. Woo. Keep going. Remember what helps with balance, find that focal point, something that doesn't move. You can concentrate on that. Shoulders away from the ears. Six more like this. Five. Slow. Four. Three. Two. One more out to the sides. Bring them down in front, one arm at a time, out ahead of you. Just to shoulder height, slight bend in the elbows. All right, we're gonna keep going with these arms just the same. We're gonna put all the body weight in the left leg, right tippy toe to the floor. Find your balance there, find that focal point again. Then, when in, if you're ready, we try floating just a little off the floor with that right leg. Okay, so if the little float is manageable and you're feeling pretty steady, let's try to float the knee a little higher. So we want to find that sweet spot, I call it, where we're slightly wobbly, but it's manageable. So we're a little bit challenged, but we can still be safe. We're keeping our core tight here, still squeezing those cheeks in the back. We got four more like this. Three, two, one more. Bring the foot down. Let's bend the elbows 90 degrees. Palms are facing toward one another. Take the elbows up and out. Call this one slow motion funky chicken dance. We're taking the elbows just to shoulder height. We keep the cans of soup or the hands straight out from the elbows. All right, team, let's do it. Right leg gets the body weight, left tippy toe to the floor. Find that focal point again. Win it if you're ready. Try floating just a little. Maybe you're just barely off the floor so you can touch back down if you need to, if you get too wobbly. I want you to keep it safe, but I do want you to challenge yourself as well. Maybe we start to float the knee a little higher, or maybe not today. Maybe next time you do this workout, you get the knee a little higher. Arms, option if you need, one at a time. Let's keep going with these arms. How's your balance? I know, as soon as I say it, that's when everybody starts to wobble. Wobble. Six. Five, four, three, two, one more, and release. Good job. A little shaky shake. We got our feet about hip distance apart. I'm going to turn just a little bit to the side so you can see a better angle. We're going to soften the knees. We're going to hinge forward from the hips just a little bit, but we're keeping the core really tight. Palms are facing toward one another. We're going to row the weights up. And release back down. Row up and release back down. So as we row, we want to think about squeezing the shoulder blades together so you can get to touch behind your back. Great. I know you are out there squeezing with me. Don't forget, too, we're still squeezing those cheeks in the back. And we're squeezing our core muscles. That's going to help protect our back in this bent over position. We got four more and we're gonna add on. Three, two, so here we go. We row the weights up, extend straight back, bring them in, lower them down. Row up, extend back, bring it in, bring it down. Excellent. We're keeping the shoulders away from the ears. We're keeping those shoulder blades squeezed tight while we extend the arms back. Option, one at a time. All right, so we're going to go four more like this. We'll change it just a little bit. Three. Two. All right, we're going to take out the row, and we're going to stay with just the 
the extension and back in. Extend back out and in. Keep the upper arm perfectly still. So all we're doing is hinging at the elbow. All right, we're gonna keep going. Exact same move, but we're gonna take it what's called reciprocal style. One is up, one is down, but they're both constantly moving. Still keeping the shoulder perfectly still, just hinging at the elbow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, but wait, there's more. Sit them both back there, turn the hands, palms face up, little baby lifts. Thank you, little baby squeezes. Ooh-wee, feel in the back of the arms. Keep pulsing, keep squeezing, you got it. I promise we'll go hands free after this. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Ooh, a little shake, shake. All right, team, we're gonna go hands free. Did you forget about that other side? Oh, no, no. Hands free, so if you'd like to get a drink, it's a good time to do it. Outside leg, step out and in. Stepping out to the side and back in. We're close enough where we have access to the chair, if we need it in just a little bit. All right, three more. We add on those squats. Three, two, here we go. We step out, a little bend in the knees, back up, back in. So try a few. Find the range of motion that works for you. Remember, options for intensity are a deeper squat. That's harder. Also, we have the option of stepping out bigger. Bigger, wider squats are more for the tush in the outer hip, outer thigh. Narrower squats are more quadriceps. So see what you're looking to get out of your workout today and make it right for you. Let's keep going. We're gonna add in that balance challenge when we come back. So again, we squat, up and in. First option, tiptoe touch. Little tippy toe touch. We have access to the chair if we need it, but we're trying to have as little contact with the chair as we can safely manage. Next option for more balance challenge we knee lift. So we squat, up and in, knee lift. Remember, if you're doing the balance challenge option, I want you to hold landing, or as I call, stick the landing, for just a split second and see if you actually have your balance. Chest stays tall the whole time. Abdominals are engaged tight. Eight. Seven. Got it. Six. Slow and control. Five, four, three, two, one more. We're going to stick that landing and hold it. Hold your balance. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Little shaky shake. All right. How'd you do? Good? I hope so. Have a seat, bring your weights or your cans with you, or again, if you wanna be hands-free, that's a perfect option too. So we're gonna relax the arms at our side, but then we're gonna angle out to the corners of the room. We're gonna curl up toward the shoulders and back down. Up toward the shoulders and back down. We are sitting tall, we are sitting straight. We're gonna keep going with these arms just the same. As we curl up, we're gonna lift up one knee. Then we put it down, next time it's the other one. Sitting tall, sitting straight. Abdominals are engaged tight. One at a time. Lifting up the knee. But we still keep the torso still tall, straight. Option for the arms if we need, one at a time. If you go one at a time for the arms, make it opposite of the leg that's moving. Good. Let's keep going. Eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Hold the weights at the top, put the feet down. Open the elbows out to the side. Palms are facing towards your shoulders. We're gonna open out wide, then draw the elbows to the ribs. Open out wide, draw the elbows into the ribs. So we're making a wide V, or you could say W with the arms. Then draw the elbows to the ribs. Sitting tall, sitting straight. We're gonna keep that straight and we're gonna keep that tallness through the torso, but we're gonna lean back just a little bit. So we start to feel our stomach muscles turning on to keep us stable. The further we lean back, the harder it is. So find the sweet spot for you. Breathe, even though we're squeezing tight, we have to keep the air moving. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Bring the arms back down. Yes, good job. A little shaky shake. All right, team, it is time again. We're going to do another interval. You might keep your weights or your soup cans, or you might set them down, but we're going to get those arms going, even while we're sitting in the chair. And let's get our feet going, too. Because once again, the more body parts we move, the more calories we burn. All right, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep the feet marching. Remember, you make the interval whatever you want it to be. Okay, we're going to go 20 seconds. I'll tell you when we're halfway. On your mark, get set, let's go. Maybe only the arms get faster. Maybe arms and legs get faster. Come on. Halfway. Ten more seconds. Come on, ten more seconds. Oh, five more to go. Breathe. Breathe. Keep moving. And march it easy. Good job. Relax the arms down. Go ahead and plant the feet, sit up tall and straight. We're gonna have the palms facing toward the legs, one at a time, raise your glass. Or raise your soup can. Or maybe your tomatoes, or your thick and chunky chili. Whatever you got. All right, we're gonna keep going with these arms just the same. We're gonna take the opposite leg and lift. Once again, we keep the torso straight and tall. Stomach tight. Now we're gonna keep going, but we're gonna lean back just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. Or maybe we lean back a lot. But the more we lean back, the more we're gonna feel those stomach muscles working. Try to keep the arms slow and controlled, no swing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more. We're gonna relax the feet down, still relax the arms. We're gonna lean back, don't touch the back of the chair, then sit back up tall and straight. I'm gonna turn to the side just a little bit so you can see better. Shoulders relax. Now we're going to keep going with this one for a little while. We're not going to use the arms where we need the weights. So if you want to set those down for a split second and grab a quick drink, it would be a great opportunity to do so. Or you can keep those weights, which will make you a little bit heavier, which will make the core muscles work a little bit harder. So maybe you want that, maybe you don't want that today. Shoulders relax. Let's keep going. You know those legs. I hope they're not getting bored. We can't have that. Maybe there's something the legs could be doing. I know. You said it. Yep, four more. And we'll hold still for another interval. Yes. Three. Two. 
three, two, all right, last one with the squat. We're gonna keep the leg lift to the side. Leg lift, tiptoe touch down. Maybe we go to the chair. Maybe we keep the arms out to help with balance. Maybe we try not to let the foot touch the floor. Stay tall and straight. Six, five, four, you got it. Three, two, Let's hold it. Last one. Challenge your balance safely. Five, four, three, two, relax. Woo! A little shake, shake. Speaking of shake, shake, let's get going. We got another interval coming up. Arms going. You make it what you want. This one, we're going to do short and sweet. Only 15 seconds. I know, only 15 seconds? Don't worry, I'm not going soft on you. Okay, team. 15 seconds on the clock. On the mark, get set, let's go. 15 seconds. Come on, you make it right for you. 10 down, five to go. Keep going, keep going. Modify, but try to keep going. Three, two, relax. Woo-wee. Let's shift it over to the other side. Quick drink if you want to. All right, team. We got our feet about shoulder distance apart. Let's squat. We're close enough where we got access to the chair. You know what's coming. We gotta stay even. So we're gonna get that other side in just a little bit. Four more we add on the leg lift. Three, remember your squat range is your option. Two, here we go. We squat, lift to the side. Squat. Lift to the side. Chest up. Lift. Squat. Lift. So try a few options. Maybe we try not to touch the chair. Maybe we try no hands. Maybe we keep the arms away from the chair, but out to the side to help with balance. All right, last five. Four, three, you got this team. Two, one more, just the leg lift. Leg lift, tiptoe touch down. Four, maybe we go no hands. Maybe the foot stops touching the floor. Find that focal point, concentrate. Six, five. Four, three, two, all right, let's hold it, challenge your balance, five, four, three, two, relax, Woo! a little shake, shake. All right, team, let's make our way back in front of our chair. We're coming into our grand finale, so if you'd like to get your weights with you, you can. We're going to bring the weights in the middle. We are going to squat one last time for today. I know, try not to shed a tear that our workout is almost over. You can do your workout anytime because these videos are available for you on the Kings Point SunCityCenter.com website. Go under the fitness tab and then you'll see a heading for home workouts. So you can do it over and over again or lots of other workouts. Maybe you wanna follow this one up with a chair yoga or yoga flow to get a nice stretch. Chest tall. Can you feel it all over? I hope so. All right, team, we're gonna keep squatting. As we lower down, we're gonna lift the weights up. Palms are facing up. Slight bend in the elbows. Remember, this is your grand finale, so stay strong. You can moderate your squat range of motion for intensity. Maybe it's one arm. Maybe the arms are taking a little break. All right, team, we're gonna keep going with these squats. You know what I've been thinking lately? So we're supposed to wash our hands for 20 seconds, right? That's 20 slow seconds. And I know sometimes in class, you have a tendency to count a little fast. 
So I thought maybe if we associated our slow squats while we're washing our hands, maybe we could even get two birds with one stone. We could be washing our hands and doing little mini squats. So let's practice last 20 slow squats, team. 19, 18, you got it, 17, you can feel it all over, 16, 15, 14, ooh, that stretch is gonna feel good, 13, 12, are you counting faster than me? 11, 10, we are almost there, nine, chest up, eight, push your hips and your bottom back, seven, are you making sure I stay on track with my count, six, five, you always do, four, three, two, last one, and we are done, make sure the chair is there, have a seat, Set your weights or your cans off to the side, and let's stretch. Legs go out, arms go out, reach fingertips to tippy toes. <sighs> bend one leg, bend the other leg. Sit up tall, take a deep breath in. Blow it out. Another deep breath in. Blow it out, take the arms back and down. Reach out through the fingertips, thumbs point down. I'm so honored that you decided to work out with me today, team. I miss you all so much, and I'm sure we will be together again soon. I cannot wait. Let's take the arms up to shoulder height, palms face up, open the arms, open the chest. Take the arms up and back, reach to the back corners of the room. Take the arms up, interlace the hands, palms face toward the head. Let's keep the hands interlaced. Bring the arms to shoulder height, tuck the chin, round out your upper back. And release, bring the head back up, relax the arms. Hands on the thighs, lift your tush out of the seat. Knees are still bent, right now our back is flat. We're gonna arch up the spine to stretch in the mid back, and then release. Arch up, and release. We're moving in and out of this stretch at our own pace. Let's go one last time. Roll all the way up one vertebrae at a time. And roll the shoulders back and down. Oh, those feel good. Let's keep going with the shoulder rolls while we make our way behind our chair. Facing toward the chair. We're gonna bend one leg, grab a hold of the foot, or you might do the heel or the sock or the shoe, whatever you can reach, or maybe you just stay in that position. Now this foot we're holding on to, we're gonna step it way back, push the heel down, back leg is straight, front leg is bent, our chest is tall, but we're leaning forward just a little bit. Back leg, step up. Let's switch sides. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see better. Grab a hold of the foot, the heel, the sock, the shoe, whatever you can reach. Take that leg, step it way back. Push the heel down, back leg straight. Front leg bent, chest tall, leaning forward just a little bit. And step back up. You can come away from your chair. We're going to have one arm across the body. Other arm comes up underneath, gently pulling in. And shoulders relax. Now that same arm, we're going to take the hands to the upper back. Come around in front, gently pushing back. Keep the head up. And release. Other arm, come across. Come up underneath. Gently pull in. Shoulders relax. That same arm, hand to the upper back, come around in front, gently pushing back, keep the head up. And release, take a deep breath in, arms go up, blow it out. Another slow deep breath in, blow it out. 
One more deep breath. Blow it out. Excellent job today, team. Thank you so much for joining me. I miss you all so much. I hope to be together again soon. But until we can, we will keep these videos rolling for you. So thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.